So I just happened to stumble across a Blu-ray copy of this movie, and I just said to myself, hey, I remember this movie. I used to love this as a kid. Let's see if it holds up as I watch it nine and a half years later. Eh, sadly, it did not. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be reviewing Bedtime Stories about a hotel handyman named Skeeter Bronson, played by the famous Adam Sandler, who gets an unexpected surprise when he discovers that the tall tales he has been telling his niece and nephew are somehow coming true. No shocker there. Hoping to make the most out of the mysterious phenomenon, Skeeter spins one outlandish yarn after another, but the children's unexpected contributions to the stories turn Skeeter's life upside down. So now we have our movie, ladies and gentlemen, an average nobody takes taking care of two young kids, telling them simple, innocent bedtime stories, and next thing you know, all these story elements start to come to life and make it relevant to what the kids interpreted to their uncle. Seems like it could work as an idea, and I don't mind it. But the problem with it is that the way it was executed didn't come off as relevant. It just comes off as a sloppy, jumbled, confusing mess that takes me completely out of the movie. Now, you know the drill with these types of reviews. Let me start with the positives first, because sometimes when you put out negatives before positives when you think about it, it just makes it a little bit unfair to do so, don't you think? So the only things that this movie got somewhat right is the fact that the premise of this movie is that whenever the two young kids come up with their own endings to Skeeter's bedtime stories, they start to come true right before his very eyes. And for me, I've never seen this type of story done before in movies. Yeah, sure, some people might have seen this a million times, but for me, when I was a lot younger, back when it first got released, I've never seen this story done before. So don't go posting comments below this review telling me, uh, give it the time man this story has been done so many times before why are you so surprised by this I was new to this okay just come in some slack will ya jeez where was I oh yeah anyways the other thing I thought was pleasant to look at was the handle of the camera in terms of camera work and cinematography the way that it moves especially in blu-ray quality was handled so well in this movie I mean yeah sure it kind of does look like a TV movie shown in cinemas everywhere but for me I don't mind that as long as it looks crystal clear and this movie is crystal clear to look at I mean if you guys also say that there's CGI in this movie it's only used for Skeeter stories that's it. And I think that fits really well with this movie. I also like the fact that this movie at least teaches kids how to use their imagination. Even Walt Disney himself would be superbly proud if he's out there right now. But the rest, now getting into the problems with this movie, those four good things don't make up to what a movie's supposed to feel. It's supposed to make you feel immersed into various fantasy lands that Skeeter tells the kids every night before bed. But whenever I hear an unexpected pop song come out of nowhere, or expect crude humor like fart jokes, butt jokes, and even jokes about boogers coming out of your nose or something like that that kids tend to laugh at these days. It just comes off as a slap in the face for both the characters on screen as well as the intended audience that they're watching. I mean, listen, I know I've ranted about those types of problems before in the past, but it's still valid. It's still something that movies, particularly family movies nowadays, tend to lack over the years. Failed attempts to make comedy suitable for both the kids as well as us adults. And guess what? They never land! Ugh, it's so aggravating. Also, the direction from Adam Shankman? Eh, it was alright. It's not good. It's also not awful. But there are other directors out there that are far better than this guy. When it comes to Adam Sandler, you know he's trying his best to entertain us as an audience. But it can't hide the truth that he's still the same Adam Sandler that you know for multiple reasons, which I won't delve deep into because this review will go on forever. So just keep it amongst yourselves. In the end, as a means to give out an opinion on the internet or in person with the people that I spend time with, overall, I thought Bedtime Stories was bland, dull, and uninteresting. It's not Chicken Little level bad, but it's still not that good of a movie either. The characters were forgettable, the jokes did not land at all, the story was confusing and all over the place, and the execution of it all is just a huge letdown for me. So as a result, I rate Bedtime Stories two and a half stars out of five. I mean, I'm not angry at this movie as much. But if your kids do want to watch this movie, then by all means, give it a try. But for those of you who don't want to see this movie, then you have my obliged opportunity to skip it and pretend it never happened at all. No regrets. 
So bedtime stories, you've seen it, right? Well, let me know in the comments what is a movie that Adam Sandler's in that is your most favorite in your opinion. But if you have, come back and let me know what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you wanna see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. And also, so follow me on Startup so you can catch early reactions of movies, TV shows, and trailers. I'll put the link of it below in the description so you can download the app for yourself. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.